Hi everybody, welcome to this new video. If you have watched my previous videos, then you would know how to write a simple C program. And if you have not yet watched those lectures, please go ahead. Now moving forward in this video, we will learn how to draw flowcharts in C where we will print hello world in our first flowchart. So this video is completely made for beginners. So keep watching it till the end. This video will uh, give you an introduction to flowcharts and my coming videos uh, where I will discuss continuously discuss the flowcharts alongside the code that we have been discussing. Uh, so right now in this video, we'll discuss a flowchart to print hello world uh, just once. So let's get started and draw a flowchart. So how we start a flowchart, we use this block for start and stop. So this is uh, just for the explanation of uh, what all things we use, what all uh, blocks we use in flowcharts for what purpose. So this block is used to start and stop the code. Okay, the start and stop comes inside the block. Then we use a parallelogram for input and output. If we need to input a number or we have to print something for output, we use a parallelogram. Then we use a rectangle if we have to initialize something for initialization or to perform any other operation using operators we use rectangle or rectangular box to initialize something suppose initially we have to initialize i is equals to zero so i is equals to zero will come inside the block or we are performing any operation suppose we are adding two numbers so sum is equals to a plus b so sum is equals to a plus b will come inside the rectangular box so these are the three blocks that we use and for loops we use for while loop we use this block for if if else condition also we use a rhombus so for uh, this is used for while loop condition for condition this is used for condition in while loop in if else we use this rhombus okay then for uh, for loop for for loop we use this block for, for loop we use this block initialization condition and updation comes uh, in this order only so this is for the for loop we use this box so these are uh, the blocks that we use in flowcharts so discussing our first flowchart where we will print where we will print hello hello word so for that we will start with so let's draw our first flowchart we have to print hello world okay so we will start as i told you for start and stop we use this block so we will that's how we will start our flowchart. Then what we have to do, then we have to print the hello world once, only once. So just we will do, we will use this block. We use this block for input and output. We will uh, use this block and we will print hello world and then stop. So this was a uh, very easy, the first flowchart that we draw, very simple. In flowcharts, there are certain rules that we have to keep in mind that we don't uh, declare variables in flowcharts uh, anywhere. If suppose in loops we are using i, we don't declare i in flowcharts. So we, will, we don't have to declare any variables in flowcharts. That's how we do the flowchart, that's basic rule of flowchart. Let me get this. So this is how we will print hello world using flowcharts that's how we do then i will in the next video i will discuss loops in flowcharts 
so that video will make give you a clear idea how to use for loop and while loop in flowcharts in the next video we'll be discussing that if you want to take a screenshot of this and you can this block for start and stop this block for input and output and this block to perform any operation using operators or for initialization this for condition this rhombus is used for condition condition of if else condition of while loop for for loop the initialization condition and updation comes in one block itself we will discuss the for loop and while loop in detail in the coming videos so this is our first flowchart where we print the hello world